And today we have Amy performing our experiment. What we're going to do the synthesized aspirin titration. The very first step is to weigh out approximately 4.4 grams of aspirin. Here we have weighed out 0.566 grams of our synthesized aspirin for titration in this Erdmeyer flask here. To this Erdmeyer flask, we will add approximately 10 milliliters of 95% ethanol solution and mix to dissolve the acid. Following this, we'll add about 25 milliliters of deionized water and also mix well. Next, we'll add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator and mix well again. It's probably contaminant. And here we have prepared a 50 milliliter Viret with our previously standardized sodium hydroxide solution. The initial volume of this Viret reads 1.78 milliliters. 1.78 milliliters. Now we will slowly introduce the sodium hydroxide solution to our aspirin until the phenolphthalein indicator changes color. And here we have a nice light pink color from the phenolphthalein indicator and the aspirin has been titrated. The final volume in the burette of the sodium hydroxide solution is 13.5 milliliters. 13.5 milliliters. We will repeat this titration for another trial. The mass of aspirin for the second titration will be 0 0.572 grams. And we will also record that on the board underneath the trial too. So our initial volume of the burette from sodium hydroxide solution is the same as the final volume of trial one, which is 13.50 milliliters.
13.50 milliliters. And now we will begin to slowly titrate. It may be a little difficult to see, but the solution is now a very light pink and is almost perfectly titrated. The final volume of the burette with a titrating standardized sodium hydroxide solution is... Drum roll. <laughs> The look of sheer concentration <laughs> is 25.01 milliliters. Now that we've performed two trials of titration for our synthesized aspirin, we'll also do a titration of commercial aspirin to compare and see how our aspirin measures up to the commercially produced aspirin. In order to titrate the commercially produced aspirin, we put one tablet into a beaker. Uh, to this tablet, we'll add three drops of water and then let the tablet absorb the water so we can crush it into a little bit of a powder with a stirring rod. So many drops. <laughs> Now that the aspirin tablet is crushed into a powder, we'll add the 10 milliliters of 95% ethanol. Now we can stir this well. It should dissolve the majority of the aspirin. Any residual particulates are most likely binders to hold the pill together. And now we'll add 25 milliliters of deionized water. followed by two drops of the phenolphthalein indicator. This burette is also filled with our standardized solution of sodium hydroxide. The initial volume of this burette is 3.71 milliliters. And we will begin to slowly titrate. The solution is now a light pink 
and tight. The final volume of our sodium hydroxide solution in the burette is 10.51 milliliters. Right. So the difference between the final and initial volume is the total sodium hydroxide volume used, which equates to 6.80 milliliters for trial one. We'll do this again for commercial aspirin for a second trial. The mass of this aspirin tablet is 0.364 grams. The mass of the first aspirin tablet was 0.368 grams. The initial volume of the burette for trial two is the same volume as the final volume for the burette of trial one, which is 10.51 milliliters. And now we will titrate. Here you can see the titration is complete, evident by the light pink color of the solution. The final volume of the burette is 17.01 milliliters. And the difference <laughs> between the two gives us our total volume of NaOH used, which is 6.5 milliliters. That, my friends, is the titration of our synthesized aspirin and the commercial aspirin.